Hi Twin Flames, Lisey here, and I have a reading for you today. This is the last day of my springtime sale, 20% off of all of my readings for you, for your Twin Flame Union. If you want a personalized reading, go to my website, um, enter the code SPRING20 to get 20% off of any of my readings. I've got a Twin Flame Romance reading, a What the Hell is Going On in My Union reading, um, a complete Union Energy reading, um, and a union energy reading with three cards. The complete reading has 22 plus cards and the energy, if you just want a quick pull, um, I've got a three card energy reading. So I have those and, and it also includes my live reading to schedule time with me to pull cards as if we were face to face, but it's on Zoom and um, I will pull cards for the union and you can ask questions during that reading. So I wanted to announce that before I started this reading because the sale ends at 6 p.m. Eastern today, March 20th, 2021 2021 um so we're going to be pulling cards for yesterday we did the divine feminine today we're going to be doing the divine masculine and before we begin um, i'm prefacing this reading by saying that in spiritual truth you and your twin flame are one at the core and so if you're a divine feminine or a divine masculine watching this reading it doesn't matter because this is going to pertain to your union as a whole you and your twin flame were designed to be together by the divine. You were created from the same soul essence or soul blueprint. And um, there is a, like a copy that's made from the same one soul blueprint that is a divine masculine and a copy that is a divine feminine. The divine masculine and the divine feminine are not carbon copies of each other. They're complementary to each other. And the combination of these energies are so juicy um, and they, they really um, intermingle together. This is, God is both feminine and masculine together. And so this is why God created these polarities. And it doesn't matter which uh, gender you're in. You can be a divine masculine in a feminine body or vice versa. Um, but in a union, there's the polarities are present, one or the other. So if you'd like to learn more about that, I highly recommend getting the book, Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover, available on Amazon. I've got the link in the description box below and also the link to my website where you can get your own reading. Um, so we're going to be tapping into uh, divine the message from the Divine Masculine. What does the Divine Masculine want to tell you? And if you're a Divine Masculine watching this, it's kind of like a reading for you. And um, I'm going to be going deeper into the teachings of union, of harmonious twin flame union here. So we've got the Romance Angels here. We've got the Psychic Tarot for the Heart here and the Lover's Oracle here to talk about these energies. So let's start. All right, the first pull, we're going to do the three cards at once. It's going to tell a sentence from the divine. And we are really encouraging divine energy, right? Not anything that's tainted with any projections or, um, you know, non-unconditional love, right? Um, this is really, there we go. Oh, nice. Um, this is really from the divine and not from like an influenced place or, you know, so let's find out what you need to know. Okay. So we've got these three cards. We've got chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Dedicated effort and life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Okay, so these three cards together may, may not look like they belong together, but what I'm getting from them is this chemistry that you have for your twin flame, right? And they for you, it needs to be built it may sound funny. It's there at the core, right? But what's blocking you from that chemistry is something that you need to take an effort to heal. So you, you may feel the chemistry there, but you may not be experiencing it in the 3D. We're, what I want to tell you is your twin flame union is meant to be here on earth in the physical. The 5D stuff is just a very small, tiny fraction of the 3D stuff. It's all one thing, right? As above, so below. Why you're not experiencing 
harmonious union with your twin flame has only to do with a block, something that's in your heart. Your twin flame is your divine mirror and they're always going to be reflecting things for you to heal, right? They're, they're, your, they're you, right? You, you're doing that for them, but you don't need to worry about that part. You just worry about your part. So they're going to bring up all your stuff. They're going to do things on the outside that you're like, that's, that's really awful. They're ignoring me. They don't want to be with me. They're with, they're with Sheila or whatever it is, right? They're, they're doing things that are, and it's very painful and it's very uncomfortable. And I understand, right? I've been there. Um, but it is an illusion in, in that they are just reflecting where you're doing that one thing within yourself to yourself. So for example, you might have had chemistry in the external with your twin flame and you feel it and you're, maybe you're having a vision of some 5D stuff. Well, you're to, you, you really want your twin flame to be next to you physically and that's what you shall have, but they're not. And so what you do is something called the mirror exercise. And this is the dedicated effort card. Go within and use the mirror exercise. And I can help you with this. You, it's not something that should be completely done on your own. You deserve support and require support to go in your heart and heal with the four step process of the mirror exercise. It's a written mirror exercise um, that takes everything that you're experiencing in the external and shows you what part of your heart, where you're doing that within yourself. And then you bring love there. You love yourself for your hurt using the mirror exercise. And from that place, you restore your own consciousness and then that gets reflected back to you. You don't love yourself to get someone to do something and then you're happy. You love yourself, you become happy, and then the reflection just indicates what you've done and given to yourself. So this card is really about choosing to see this in a new way, being flexible and looking at your union in a, in a different way. I'm just going to turn on, I feel like it got dark in my room. I'm going to turn on the light. Okay. There. Next set of cards. The lover's oracle is hard to shuffle. I don't usually shuffle it. I just count with my eyes closed so I can't see the picture. Okay. That's your next one. And then I do shuffle the rest of the cards. Those are heart-shaped cards. All right. What else would the divine like to share with you? Okay. Free yourself. Throat chakra. Oh, this is good. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point to trying to change that which is beyond our control. Good. Okay. This is taking you deeper into that which I was talking about, the mirror exercise. So the mirror exercise requires that the throat chakra card, that you express yourself to yourself, right? That you share how you feel, that you express your feelings to yourself. Um, what you do, I'll just go through the mirror exercise here in this video. I, I sometimes do this, but I also have a um, mirror exercise um, series that you can find in my playlists. Uh, and I want to share with you that you want to receive support from a coach. I'm a master certified Ascension coach trained in this. And you also want the source of it, who are my teachers, Jeff and Shalia. They have guided so many couples into harmonious and clean union using the mirror exercise right? <clears throat> and so it's really important that, um, first of all, you feel your feelings. So let's just take a typical, typical upset that you may be experiencing. I'm upset because my twin flame is ignoring me. They're not talking to me or whatever it is. That's your first step is to state the upset, write it down. That's this throat, throat chakra thing. Writing, um, expressing is not just about saying out loud. It's about writing as well. So write it down. I'm upset because my twin flame is ignoring me. Step two, change all the nouns in the first sentence into pronouns pointing at yourself. I'm upset because I'm ignoring myself. That sounds funny, doesn't it? Step three, you ask yourself, is this true? The answer is always yes. And here are some places where it may be true. You may be ignoring your intuition. 
You may be ignoring what your finances are telling you. You may be ignoring being with your divine self somewhere. You may be ignoring your beauty. You may be ignoring your body. You may be ignoring being with your feelings, right? There's a list, the list could go on and on. Step four is you go to this part of yourself that's doing the ignoring and you ask the part of it, you might have to have a conversation. You, this is the visualization step. So you can actually imagine talking to your inner child or um, just imagine an archangel coming to talk with you. It doesn't matter. Use your imagination in this step. Imagination is energy. And start talking to yourself and step four is all about ask this part of yourself what it needs to feel loved and then give it to yourself in your imagination. You might have some resistance to doing that and saying, oh, it's just my imagination. Just your imagination. Well, let me point something out. In many of the religious religions of the world, um, it is said that God created man in his image. The word image comes from this root of thinking and, and envisioning something, and then it becomes reality. Your brain doesn't know the difference between what you see and experience in your external reality and what you see and experience inside. Same thing goes for dreams. Dreams are an example of this. So let yourself use your imagination to invoke all of these feelings. The imagination is energy and it's, it's going to give you the feeling that you need inside your heart. And it's that feeling that's magnetizing your union together. And this is how you free yourself. And this is when you accept what you're experiencing and start to actually feel your feelings about it and tell yourself how you feel about it, that creates freedom. Use the mirror exercise. Notice what's actually happening in your union. You don't have to live in the 5D anymore. Feel your feelings. And I would love to help you with this. Let's go to the next and final pull. Okay. Good. Oh, nice. <laughs> you got a little bit of like loving discipline here from the divine, right? It's always loving. Okay. Share the love. So this is about sharing it first with yourself, right? First, you come first. Your relationship with the divine comes first. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Now, here's how not to interpret the card. This is how not to do it. Oh, oh, I knew it. I knew he's not my twin flame. I knew it. Oh, this is a sign. He's not my twin flame. No, that's not what this means. What this means is don't ignore your feelings. If something outside of you is showing you that it doesn't feel good, your twin flame ignoring you, your twin flame, dating someone else, married to someone else, whatever it is. Don't look at that and be like, oh, well, oh, well, right? Feel how that makes you feel and use the mirror exercise. Don't try to control it on the outside. And that's what this card is about. What's been happening is you've been triggered and then you're trying to like get it to change on the outside, either by chasing after the person, and most of you know not to do that, you know, sending a million texts or whatever. <laughs> um, but what a lot of you are doing that um, energetically does this, criticizing, is you're crossing your arms and saying, well, fine, I'm going to cut cords with my twin flame, which is impossible, by the way. That's the same coin, different side as chasing after them, right? Crossing your arms and then saying, harumph, that doesn't do anything either. They're not going to change. Nothing will change until you do because your twin flame literally is you. They're going to make the same core choices as you. If you choose to give up on your twin flame journey, so too will they. So when <laughs> the, the cool thing is when you make a new choice, they will reflect that too. So choose to take these red flags. And this share the love card is about, okay, the things that are going out on outside that don't feel good are places that need love, right? They're reflecting places within you that need your love, that need divine love, one and the same. So, very good reading. I really like this. I'm gonna read the um, 
last part of this card because it's also about you. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. So these triggers, these things that are happening, they need love and acceptance inside of you, right? This is an inner journey. The way to harmonious twin flame union is 90% inner work. So I really hope that for you. I would love to support you. If you want your own reading, um, look that up. Also, my Twin Flame Ascension Coaching packages are all 20% off up until 6 p.m. today. So everything on my website, um, packages and readings, with the exception of introductory sessions, which you could try. They're only $33 for 30 minutes. I could help you with what you're working on. <clears throat> um, everything else is 20% off. So yeah, enjoy your day. I hope this reading helped you. Um, and I'm here to take you deeper and to heal. So have a good day and I hope to see you soon. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.